Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, we have a question from our good friend, Nerdesh. Okay. Um, I always like how he opens his little comments. How you doing? I'm doing very good. Thank you very much. Uh, check out the Curve Single Origin Medium Roast. Any comments or feedbacks? Okay, we'll look at that. Boop. Okay, here's the question. What is the standard or what is the standard or for you the development ratio for dropping for light medium and medium dark roast okay uh this is a good question so first i think uh it's better to preface this with first when i when i think about any standards right um first those standards are dictated by what kind of coffee i'm roasting right so for example a washed coffee, um, a natural processed coffee, a decaf. Um, what else do we have? Those are basically the three norms, of, uh, three types of coffee that I'll be roasting. Um, so for a development ratio, and I, what I think you mean is like the, the third phase, right? Uh, let's bring this up. Okay, so you guys are going to look at a squeezed version of this. So... Hmm, how should I do this? Uh, I'll just extend it like that. Okay, so here, don't mind this uh, underlay. I didn't know how to take it out, like I said before in a different video. <laughs> All right, so this is Rasuna, I believe. And uh, I'm doing this at a, uh, what was this? Now I have to look. A City Plus Roast. Okay. So city plus, meaning a light, a medium light roast. So within the realm of light, this is like a medium in the light realm of roasting. <laughs> All right. And uh, these numbers are not going to be transferable to every type of coffee that you want to do at a city plus roast. Why? Because every coffee will act a little bit differently in the roaster, um, how old it is. Um, what kind of processing? So is it washed? Is it natural? Is it decaf? Is it double washed? Is it honey? Whatever. Right. And, you know, just like in this particular coffee, like what elevation is it? Where does it come from? Like uh, African versus Colombian, something like that. Right. Every coffee um, behaves just a little differently. OK, so these numbers aren't going to translate very well. But what I want to give you for this on how I create little standards for myself or more like not standards, more like starting points, right? They're actually just kind of starting points. Like let's start here. This is, this is the information that I have right now and I'm just gonna start here. <laughs> okay, so typically what Rao and I think what other uh, uh, roaster people talk about in terms of a standard or a starting point is that for a standard like light roast and we're not even talking about like um, trying to bring out or enhance or modulate certain flavors they go like this so you'll see a 40% in the first phase a 40% in the second and a 20% in the third that's the starting point like that's the standard and then the other standard or starting point is that we're gonna see a um, constantly descending um, downward sloping ROR curve like this and without seeing a lot of jaggediness okay and also I, I believe with this roast I did adjust my um, ROR um, rate calculation so it used to calculate every 30 seconds and now I finally remembered to fix that in the settings you can go here and and just fix like the rate of rise the calculation so now I fixed it to 30 uh, 60 seconds so it's calculating that so now it looks a little bit smoothed out actually so now they look prettier uh, doesn't matter to me but I think for you know maybe um, educational purposes when I'm sharing these kind of videos with you guys like maybe that helps better to just try to be on the same page okay so we have that's a uh, city plus roast but let, looks let's look at this a thousand hands light roast okay so we're still in the realm of light so let's look at this uh, I have a 50% a 40% and then a 7% 
Why? Because now I'm not just like trying to roast this at a standard light roast now because I could definitely roast this coffee 40%, 40%, 20% like as a starting point. Now, I've cupped that and that is too dark for my taste. Um, I eliminate a lot of those blueberry delicate floral notes when I roast it that way and so I figured out through just experimentation that I need to drop it really early right here you know and uh, this may be a little later than normal it's being almost at 50% here and that's because this coffee in particular is a little bit older in my in my inventory right now like I got it um, maybe early this year or late last year and it was harvested early last year <laughs> so it's older and it's showing that here in the drying phase um actually that should be a lot, a lot sooner actually so maybe um maybe my assumptions and note taking or even this software is not as accurate as i as uh, i would like it to be okay um okay and again looking at this pioneer this is from uh Costa Rica so a thousand hands is from Africa this one's from Costa Rica I do this a really similar sort of roast style which is like we dry it out here we do a 40% here and then I cut it off really really quickly here at 6% and that's because I'm modulating the flavors here I'm trying to enhance certain flavors and and uh, retain certain cup qualities as they say um, and keep this cup pretty um, acidic uh, but because my middle phase is looking like at least I'm reaching like three minutes 30 into the 40% range I'm keeping a, I'm developing a good amount of sweetness in this cup These are all my assumptions, but I think they're verified when I cup them, you know um, And that's how I'm interpreting this graph for you guys. So um, When we talk about a standard um, That's the starting point. Okay, it's the 40% 40% 20% and then when you want to go medium with that, uh, let's find a medium. It's like barely any mediums that people order. Here, here's 99. This is my decaf, right? So we go truly like a medium on this. So we got a 40%, 40%, 20%. There you go. That's the standard. I rose this decaf. It behaves really well in the roaster in that it's predictable. Um, it's fairly easy to roast. Um, it doesn't give me any wonky things, you know, uh, but this is the standard right here. That's what I'm talking about. Or um, I think the better the better word or the better term is a starting point. OK, so we're going to use that from now on. The starting point for a light roast is here. Forty percent, 40 percent, 20 percent. And then when we got it, when we want to go city plus or light medium, medium light, we can maybe start to extend this a little bit more. But we don't do that yet until we cup this and say, yes, this is true light roast. OK, so you have to cup first on your starting point to develop, you know, a standard for yourself. And then when you verify that, then you can be like, OK, so now I'm going to roast this at maybe I don't know. Maybe, is it 21? Is it 22, 23, 24, 25 to where I get to get it to taste like to me when I'm doing my cupping a city plus roast or is it it's already gone to medium you know and you can only verify that through looking through the sight glass cupping the cupping the the sample right or the experimental roast there or the uh, the roast in question and then documenting that in your notes and then verifying it from there okay so what I'm saying is like this is your starting point but this 20% development here is a light ro or is a medium roast for this decaf, right? When there were like these roasts before, I probably don't have them now. Probably this one, the Vietnam. If I did Vietnam in that profile, 40, 40, 20, if I did that with the Vietnam, that would be a light roast, you know? So it kind of just depends on the coffee. And after you've, ro after you've roasted different types of coffees and you've cupped them to verify what they taste like, you'll start to see that every coffee has their own 
starting point or standard in how it how it's how it roasts the best or how it roasts well you can't even say the best nowadays because it's like (laughs) it's whatever it's whatever you like right like i was talking to a gentleman the other day who's like super into um espresso and he's roasting on this cafe jean genie jean cafe yeah jean cafe and um just really didn't have any uh knowledge of this world of roasting right uh but ignorance is bliss it's like it tastes good so so it's good (laughs) that's really all that matters right so that's my standard and what i'm saying is it's one way to do it and uh you know especially if you if you're working on a different machine than me but i think you have the same machine as me right nerdesh okay so i hope that makes sense uh medium dark I want to show you that really quick. So before I before I move on. So this is my dark rose. This is a 40 40 40 sort of thing. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I think I just used a regular Vietnam dark profile for a light roast. See, I'm messy like that now. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. This one. Oh, this was the mistake one. See where I only had 20% in the middle and then it was like kind of roasty to me. I didn't feel like it was sweet enough. Where I'm showing like a true 40, 40, 40 profile, but just trust. Okay. So that's, you know, you, you guys know. So like in my roast path, I can't, I can't go into the backlog. So I've got 375 roasts up until this point. I can't go back beyond that. So I can't really show you what I've done before, but I have done it. All right. So, um, yeah, think of them as starting points. 40, 40, 20 is a starting point. And then depending on the coffee, the process, da, 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 and verified by your cupping and saying, yes, this is light or this tastes like light. If it doesn't taste like light, then you got to go back and re-roast it and find uh, a, a good starting point. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's take a look at your, <laughs> it's so bad. All right, here. Um, not your rose curve, the, uh, the quality of this picture. Sorry. Okay. So we got a 40, 33, 25. Okay. So in the cup, I'm guessing this tastes pretty, um, like, uh, at least very medium. Maybe a medium dark. I don't know what type of coffee this is though, Nardesh. Um, let me know what you found in the cup here. And when you send me rose profiles, try to send, try to remember to send me what you tasted in the cup because then I don't have any context, okay? Because this, for example, this, uh, just looking at the graph of it, I think it looks great. Like it looks like you have pretty good control of your heat until here. Um, it looks like a pretty long, uh, development time after first crack around eight minutes, 30 something. It's kind of blurred for me. And then we're continuing this on for a, a solid good three minutes. Okay. So that's a, that's a, I would say that's a long development if I was trying to roast something light, but you said medium, right? I think you said medium, medium. Yeah. That looks like a medium roast for sure. Did it taste like a medium to you? You know, that's what I would follow up with. All right. This one looks great too. Like look at your control nowadays. Good job. Right? Like look at this really control of your heat nowadays. And this looks like a shorter development and a much longer middle phase. What did this taste like? This potentially like when I'm not, careful about it and I extend this middle phase too long sometimes I feel like it doesn't have enough pop enough acidity and if um, I do cut it off short to try to like make up for this it could taste like underdeveloped you know so there's like a there's different note profiles like the difference between underdeveloped even though you have a long middle phase and a short third phase 
I would just be aware of what that tastes like too and compare it to something that where you you tighten up this middle phase I don't even know what this says but I'm just looking at these lines and they look familiar to me um, and even though the graph is pretty I would verify with the cup like does it have enough acidity does it have enough sweetness Am I, is this a balanced cup you know what I mean okay and number three Okay, 40, 35, 15. Now this looks good. This looks like something I would drink. Um, just because the middle phase is nice and tight. First phase is like good, you know. Um, and the last phase is not too long where I feel like in my preference, I don't prefer anything very roasty. And so I could drink this black or and depending on what kind, kind of coffee this is, this could almost be, like if this was Pioneer and if I roasted it like this, it would be a medium. If this, if this was a thousand hands, this would be a medium. But say it's Vietnam, say it's Mexico, say it's, um, I don't know, like a wash processed Costa Rica Terra Zoo. This might be really good, you know? It might be really like chocolatey, caramel forward and still have a pop of like, cherries and stuff so let me know verify with me in your in the dms and verify with me like what did those taste like but they look pretty good all right i hope that helps um i haven't roasted in a while um we have two pound bags now available and they kind of like they're almost two pounds so they're like almost two pounds but they're called two pounders on the site anyway yeah, for those of you who have been asking for the two pounds, um, we have that now. Cool. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.